All right, my French horn playing friends. It's Mr. Fitz with Mrs. Fitz's French horn. I promise to take care of it. And we are now working on line number 19, Easy Street, which is really cool because it teaches us a new note that's even higher than the A. We're going up into the stratosphere here. Let's check this out. There it is, F horn, that's us, B flat. This note is so high that when they write it with a stem, the stem goes downward because it's on the middle line or the third line of the music staff. Isn't that cool? All right, B flat is played with the first valve, just like the note F, except it's higher, all right? So what I always like to say for French horn players, when you're practicing, you should practice playing an F and then a B flat and see if you can make the difference. All right, so here's F. And here's B flat. Here's F. Here's B flat. So what, what you want to do, keep your embouchure firm, keep the opening in the middle of your lips firmly pressed together, and blow that air with a little more energy, a little more speed, and the note should pop out higher for you onto that B flat. Okay, and it may take some practice, but you should practice doing try and go back and forth between the F and the B flat, okay? All right, now let's get on to learning the song. Just like with our other songs that we were doing, we are going to say this first. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Let's do that again. Half notes and half notes and quarter notes and half note, right? One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. And then you get to play it on one note. After you can say it with your voice and tap your foot, then you're gonna pick any note you want on your French horn. I think I'll just do an F, all right? Here it goes. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> And I've said before, I always want to make sure to use a T sound to start your note. All right, now practice that until you can get that. You may need to pause the video. All right, next step is to name our notes. Now, how convenient that they tell us that this is a B flat. And I've already told you that that's played with the first valve. All right, so let's say this, that's a B flat. This is in the second space. That makes that an A. This is a B flat because it's on the third line, which is a B and this little symbol makes it a flat, a B flat. All right, that's an A. And look at this, this B right here is also played B flat because when they give you a flat, it's good for the rest of the measure. So that little flat sign there is good for that B and that B, okay? Third line is B, guys. The little flat symbol looks like a B, but that really means flat. All right, so let's say the notes together and tap our foot. One, two, ready, say it. B flat, A, B flat, A, B flat. Let's do it again. One, two, ready, go. B flat, A, B flat, A, B flat. So you want to be able to tap your foot and do that and pause the video if you need to, all right? Now, next step is to press the valves while we say it. All right, here goes. One, two, ready, go. B flat, A, B flat, A, B flat. Okay, do that a bunch of times until you get it down. And then you go to play the whole thing, all right, with actually playing your French horn. One, two, ready, go. Cool, huh? All right, and again, pause the video, work it as much as you need to to get it to come out, all right? Now we're gonna do two more measures. Okay, so let's look at this next part. Here it goes. We're gonna say the ta's first, all right? One, two, Ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Three, four. That's a half rest. It's said, we say three, four because it's at the end of the measure. All right, let's say this again. One, two, ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Three, four. Awesome, huh? All right, now let's play it on one note. I think I'm gonna play it on an A. You could choose whatever note you'd like though, all right? Main thing is to get the rhythm. You just focus on rhythm. You're not worried about notes, all right? Here goes. One, two, ready, go. Okay. All 
okay? And practice that, practice that, tap your foot, tell your notes. Next step is to name those notes, all right? So we've got second space A, that's another A, second line G, that note is the same as these, so that makes that an A, second space A. And finally, third line B with the flat symbol with it makes it a B flat, okay? So let's say it and tap our foot. One, two, ready, go. A, A, G, A, B flat, three, four. All right, and practice that until you get it. And then finally, the this next step is to use your valves while you say those notes. Here goes, one, two, ready, go. A, A, G, A, B flat, three, four. Okay, practice that until you get it. And then finally put it all together and play it. One, two, ready, go. Okay, now one thing about the rests I want to mention. Half rests are two beats long. When they're at the end of a measure, we say three, four. And as you might imagine, if they were at the beginning of the measure, we'd say one, two, okay? When you see a quarter rest, guys, I, have, I recommend that you just say the word rest. So like this part's gonna go, ta, rest, ta, rest, okay? Just one tap of rest. All right, so have fun learning easy street. Yay.